Good afternoon, Marian. Good afternoon, ma'am. Okay, Marian, can you tell me about yourself? Yes, ma'am. I'm Marian Luciano, 28 years old. I'm single and I have one child. Okay, I have a few questions for you to answer, so let's start. Yes, ma'am. Why do you want to work as a maid? Because I want to earn money and help my family for financial and to build my own house. Why choose Malaysia when there is a lot of other country? Because Malaysia and Philippines have the same culture. How are you qualified for this job? Because I am hardworking, um, trustworthy, and I have self-discipline. May I know what your educational level is? I am a college graduate. What is your recent working experience? Up to 2014, I am I'm work as a domestic helper in Doha, Qatar. Domestic helper, okay, in yes. Qatar. Yes, ma'am. Okay, do you have experience in taking care of baby? Yes, ma'am. How about elderly? No, ma'am. Do you have any other special skills? Uh, Yes, ma'am. Okay. Are you willing to learn new skills? Yes, ma'am. Are you willing to work with a family where the mother-in-law or any relatives stay together? Yes, ma'am. Currently, are you still working now? No, ma'am. Do you know how to cook? Yes, just in Filipino food. Okay. Are you aware that you will have to do washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking? Yes, ma'am. From all the house chores that I mentioned to you, which do you like most? Um, washing clothes. If ever you were selected to work in Malaysia, who will take care of your kids? My mother. You are not allowed to use handphone during working hours. Yes, ma'am. You are only allowed to use handphone after you finish all the works and when going to bed. Yes, ma'am. You are strictly needed to surrender the handphone to your employer in the morning and your employer will return back to you once you're going to bed. Yes, ma'am. If ever your employer finds out that you're abusing of using your handphone and it's affected your work performance, your employer will confiscate your handphone and you are not allowed to hold it anymore. Yes, ma'am. Instead, your employer will allow you to call to your family three times in a month you only allowed to bring normal phone and you are not allowed to bring smartphone are you agreed for the terms and conditions yes ma'am are you agreed to the regulation for the handphone yes ma'am okay how many years is the contract as you agreed and understands two years contract okay how many years again is the contract Two years contract. Okay. Can you describe for me your ethics, your attitude? Mm, I'm hardworking, trustworthy, and self-disciplined. How can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? Because I'm hardworking, trustworthy, and self-disciplined. Okay, just kindly make sure you will finish your two years contract in Malaysia. Yes, ma'am. That's the proof that you are a hard working. Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to use the telephone without the permission of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to put on makeup but to dress properly while work? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to invite friends and relatives without the consent of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to ask for advance salary from your employer under any circumstances? Yes, ma'am. Do you really understand of the rules and regulation of the agency? Yes, ma'am. Do you pay any placement fee for you to come to Malaysia to work as a maid? No, ma'am. Do you have any history of sickness, breast cancer, or any other illness? No, ma'am. Do you suffer from any skin diseases, allergy, or physical defect? No, ma'am. Have you suffered from any serious illness? No, ma'am. Do you smoke? No, ma'am. Have you undergone any operation? No, ma'am. Are you medically fit or are you fit to work? I am medically fit to work. Are you in any medication right now? No, ma'am. 
Are you allergic with any food? No, ma'am. Are you preferred to work for the employer of any race? Yes, ma'am. Are you preferred to eat the type of food taken by your employer? Yes, ma'am. Are you afraid of being left alone in the house? No, ma'am. Are you afraid of dogs or other pets? No, ma'am. Can you promise to work according to instruction from your employer? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any immediate family working here in Malaysia, Marianne? No, ma'am. No, ma okay. Uh, we have finished our question section. Let's go to case study, Marianne. I have a case study here for you and I want you to answer me truthfully. Upon arrival in Malaysia within six months only, if ever any of your family members passed away, what would you do? Um, instead of going back to my, family, to my family for financial, and I will stay in Malaysia to work so that I finish my two years contract. Okay, again, um, kindly tell us about yourself and why do you want to work in Malaysia as domestic helper? I'm Marian Garciano, 28 years old. <clears throat> I have one child. I want to work in Malaysia because I want to earn money and help my family for financial and to build my own house. Okay, what do you want to tell to your employer who are watching your video right now? I, I will promise to my employer that I work in the, I work in his house as a housemaid. Okay, thank you very much, Marianne. We will update to your agency if there is any selection made by the employer. Yes, yes ma'am.